Miss V and today I am a wild thing. I am wearing my dragon onesie and I hope that you are nice and cozy at home. Today's read aloud is Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. And now this book has some beautiful pictures and I'm going to try to read pretty slow so I can show you the pictures, okay? All right. Where the Wild Things Are. The Night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. What does mischief mean? Mischief is like making trouble, maybe being a little too silly. And another. Now should he be chasing that doggy with a fork? His mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Uh-oh. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world around him. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and shoved their terrible eyes. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with a magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once, and they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. and made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. without their supper. Who else was sent to bed without their supper? Max? And now he's sending the wild things off. Hmm. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat, so he gave up being king of where the wild things are. Look, he's sad. And the wild things, they're kind of sad too. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat waved goodbye. Where do you think he is left best of all? Where do you think he's going? I think he's going home. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through the day. And into the night to his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end. I like this book. 
my friend Max uses his imagination to create a world of new things in his own bedroom. Now my question for you today is, let me move this a little bit. How do you think Max felt when he is sent to his room? So when he hit, he sent to his room, he started imagining that he had a forest in his room, but look at his face. How does he, how do you think he feels based on his face? I think he feels maybe a little angry, a little bitter. Like, hmm, why did you send me off? Now, my challenge for you is, can you build a boat? Now, Max did not build his own boat. He imagined it. But I think that you can make your own boat using things that you have at home. Maybe some aluminum foil, maybe a cup, maybe some paper. Maybe you can even draw one. I want to see if you can make your own boat like Max's. Okay, guys, I really hope you like this. Read aloud. Stay nice and safe. I love and miss you all. Bye, guys.